Zoom in. Legacy game. What is his legacy? Legacy what game for Mac Jones. What is his legacy? Go on, Dix. Some score in 2008. We're not. We, we suck. We, we, we suck. We, we, we are trash. He's fraudulent. Fraudulent. Supposed to be Lamar last week. Last week. It could have been so. Hello, everybody. I'd love to welcome you back to season two. This is going to be episode three now of the NFL season, our NFL review. I'm Richie. Joining me as always to my left, the man, the myth, the Elgin. Mm -hmm. And then to my right, he didn't make the team. He's not the wide receiver for the Bills, but he's still our lead man here, Chance Sagalski. Yes, sir. It's, uh, yeah, I didn't make it. You know, it was, it was tough. I, I got a few hits, mm -hmm. some scars now, but. It's all right. We believe in you. They look at you all in good shape, but you're wearing trash on your shirt, son. So <laughs> last week, we uh, tallied up our predictions. We went and looked at our records. So we're going to uh, – going starting in last place, he went 9-7 and seven on his predictions. Elgin. Elgin, little post-game interview. What happened? What, why did you – pick seven games wrong they were fairly easy to pick except maybe one or two upsets i i have so many teams like under the radar teams i thought really thought carolina was going to beat new orleans clearly i was wrong um and i had clearly tennessee i had tennessee beating the bears it was going well until the bears until the Titans decide just not to do anything with the offense just start throwing 50 50 balls but you know that that's another topic for another day you know just rough rough patches you know yep all right, so coming in second place, he went 11-5 and five on his picks. Ladies and gentlemen, to my right, Chance. You know, I just figured if I was going to play receiver, I might as well always be the second receiver. You know, not not the first guy, but the second guy. Just like in these picks, I'm not the first guy, I'm the second guy. Uh, that makes sense. And then finishing in first place for last week's predictions, I went 13-3 and three with two of the three games I got wrong were the Cincinnati Bengals and New England Patriots, which everyone here got wrong. I pr uh, falsely predicted Baltimore to win. I can't remember the other one I was wrong on. I might have picked Green Bay over Philly. You did. I did. Okay, so those are my three. Got them out the way. And now we start week two on Thursday night, which is tonight, where the Miami Dolphins take on the Buffalo Bills in Miami. So... <laughs> Mid off of the sound. Oh my god, you put up Easy work. Let's see. So, last week, both of our teams won. All three of our teams won, actually, but the two teams headlining tonight's Thursday night action, they played tonight. So, the Dolphins, uh, they beat, excuse me, they beat Jacksonville last week. They started off, the score was 14 0. Miami was able to put together a beautiful comeback. Tyreek Hill got arrested before the game, he, or not arrested, detained, and they came out and. The police could catch up to him, but the Jaguars' defense cannot <laughs> put up 130. Beautiful game. As Buffalo, they also came back. They were trailing we to Arizona. Come back. It was it was it was nice to watch. It was the Josh Allen show. Mm -hmm. So what they say, you see a fumble in the first quarter, you're like, who is this quarterback? And then in the second half, he's an MVP caliber quarterback. It's great to watch. It was. Oh, it's comebacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys had a lead all game against the week one Bengals. When's yeah, the last yeah, time the Bengals yeah. won a week one game? That doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all, You know, I'm not going to trash on it. You guys want a tough game to win. But tonight, the Bills and Dolphins, let's hear a, a non-biased non prediction because okay. it's going to get heated here in a little bit. Who do you oh. got winning tonight, Elgin? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is definitely going to be – listen, listen. I do think both of you guys are going to split. It depends where you guys are going to split. Usually the week one matchup goes up in Buffalo, I believe. It usually happens in Buffalo every year. The first matchup's in Buffalo. This one's in Miami. This is in Hard Rock. I don't know if you know. It's hot. It is hot. It's a night game. It's it's, a, it's still hot. It's Miami. So, or I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say Miami takes this one. I'm okay. gonna, I think I but I do have Buffalo taking the second one. I think you guys are gonna split. But you know it doesn't. It's not gonna matter because the Patriots are going to the Super Bowl, so it's not really gonna matter. <laughs> the Patriots have like two more wins max. You guys are getting them all out the way early, and, <laughs> and it's gonna be the worst losing streak in team history. Do you want my unbiased biased yeah, opinion? Let's get unbiased. Okay, unbiased opinion. I see that the Bills are eleven and two against you guys. And I see that if it's happened again and again and again. And I also see that Tua is one in six and has more interceptions than touchdowns against the Bills. You can say what you want, but that includes in factors. I also think that the Dolphins need to win this game. This isn't this isn't a game where you guys could fall. If you fall to this game, you might as well be back to last year's Dolphins. 
You want to be winning the division. You want to be number one in the division. If you want to be number one, you got to win this game. And that's all I have to say. That's fair enough. I was telling, I was speaking to you earlier. I think if the Dolphins win this game, I really think that they could lock up the division. Or not lock it up, but I think that'll put them in better position too. Because last week against the Jacksonville Jaguars, we saw a Dolphins team that came out sluggish. If it was last year's Dolphins team that started off like that, we would have lost that game, gave up 35, and maybe scored a touchdown in the second half. No, we came back to win. We have fight. That's something that I think they're going to need against Buffalo. Buffalo is not going to be an easy win, whether it's in Miami or Buffalo, Germany, wherever they could play them. It's going to be a tough game. And um, we saw that last year. The Dolphins, they got up to a lead. They had it, and then no fight. No fight at all. This year, I think it's different. I think the defense is going to hold their own really well. I think we have to be able to stop the run. James Cook went off last week, and he's probably going to have over 100 yards tonight. For you sports betters, take the over on 100 rushing yards because he's going to do it. I get, Guess what? This is all not going to matter because the Patriots are winning. <laughs> no one's talking about the trashy Patriots. I check on it, and it's just like you say a different team, but like realistically, I see the same exact team as last year as of right now. As of right now. Okay. As of right now, I do. We're one and game, I'm, You're one, exactly, but you're saying you're seeing a new team in one weekend. Yeah, so I mean, I I'm do. just saying in my perspective, you guys look great in the first week. You look like this team that is ready to go far in the playoffs, but then it's that second half. Can you guys pull across that second half and compete? That's what we're hey, looking Hey, we're towards. in week two right now, brother. This is, the, this is where the Dolphins start playing like... It is their playoffs, so <laughs> I don't know. I think for that reason, early season, I think they're going to get things figured out because last time we played you guys within the first three weeks of the season, that was when our last win against you guys. Yeah. Last year we played you guys in week four up in Buffalo. I don't know. I just I feel like it's all leaning towards the Dolphins taking this one. I know uh, at the moment Devon A. Chain is uh, questionable, so I think that's a big difference maker because even though he's a running back, he's going to be the one if he plays tonight. I think we're going to uh, look at Jeff Wilson tonight, maybe the debut – of our Jalen Wright rookie, but I'm going to go ahead and take the Dolphins, winning this one 24-20. to 20. I think it's going to come down to a late, uh, final drive where Josh Allen's going to get sacked on a third down and close so it up. So I agree with you, but I also disagree. So I agree with you on the final drive, but I think Josh Allen's going to win it on the final drive, being the hero ball type of quarterback he is. If and they need a touchdown, I don't think they're going to win the game. I, I think so. If they goal, they'll probably win. I but think if, if it's, I drive, think if it's a, a four-point game, I think Josh Allen has it. And I've seen it in previous years where he's had it. And all I'm going to say... Not against say, us. Huh? Not against us. Not against you because we already had the lead in every game. So we never needed to. But like I was trying to explain is you guys, I feel like, need a run game. And that's important. And you could say what you want. You could say what you want. But in the previous games, them not having a good running back made a blowout for us. It made it easy for us. Well, I mean, that was Devon A. Chain... No, we played you guys the first time. A-chain no, was it was it, it uh it was Mostert only because a chain a chain had two touchdowns against you guys. Back yeah, the, the 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 not the forty oh, one. Yeah, it was the second one. A chain scored a touchdown in that game too. Not the first one. In the second, it was a Mostert. Oh, hold on, hold on. Because a chain was okay, it. We're gonna hear about the Patriots right. running game, guys. No, 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 no. Their the Patriots running game was great, but the Dolphins don't have a good run game. What? What are we talking about? The Dolphins, Raheem Mostert led the league in rushing touchdowns last year. That's not a good running back to you? I said again, that is Daniel a good Jones running the back. Of the Giants, so I, I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll get to the Giants in a second. I said that the Dolphins don't have a running game right now because they're injured. That's what oh, I'm saying. Okay. Okay. I think Since they don't it. have it, they need it to be this great team. Mm-hmm. And that's why I feel like the Bills are going to win by seven points. It's going to be 38 to 31. All right. Or, sorry. Let- yeah. All right. Let's bet on this because we already did. So yeah. let's, let's make it official. Right. If the Dolphins win, you will wear a Dolphins a Jalen Dolphin, Waddle Jalen Waddle jersey. Yeah. If the Bills win, you're wearing a Bills Dalton. I'm wearing a Dalton Kincaid jersey. We're j- we pick the guys that we have on our yeah. fantasy teams because we respect each other somewhat. All right. Let's get this handshake. <laughs> there we go. It's official, and we'll wear it for the next show. I promise you. Twelve and two is just like Elgin wore that Dolphins hat. Really good. Mm-hmm. 12 and 2 is going to look really good. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is, pal. Niners, Vikings in Minnesota. Last week, the Vikings looked really good. Sam Darnold looked out of this world for some reason. And last week, the Niners did the same exact thing against the New York Jets. There was all this hype about Rodgers. They went and shut him down. He had less than one, 150, I think, less than 200 passing yards. Overall, not that great of a performance. Elgin, let's hear your thoughts on this one. Well, we all know 
Sam Darnold's when he gets to start, he has that Lynn Sammy run for like three weeks for no reason. Like he just plays amazing. But unfortunately, the Vikings play. There's one issue with the Vikings. They played the Giants last week. The Giants. The da- the Daniel Jones led di- Giants. I know we have our different opinions about Daniel Jones. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> I'm going to take the Niners. I do think this game's going to be close, though. I do think the Vikings defense is sneaky underrated. So I'm going to take I'm going to take uh, the Niners, um, 20 to 17. I think it's going to be a close matchup. So I just just believe the Niners are just a better team here. So what about you, Chance? This is a game that's like I could see one of the biggest upsets in like the, this this season. Like this could be a big upset in my opinion. Really? You. They upset like them last said, year, didn't they? I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. If oh no, I'm thinking head. of a whole different game. But I just see it, and it's Sam Darnold's legacy run, where it's a three game stretch where he's just the one missing completion. Like he's insane, and I feel like Brock Party having a bad game with uh, missing CMC if CMC doesn't play. It's one of those games. It's just like I could see upset happening. I'm still gonna choose the 49ers just because like you're. I'm gonna always lean towards them. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna think. I'll say 21-10. Okay. So, I like the Vikings defense a lot. A guy that made a big touchdown last week for Minnesota was a guy that played his whole career in Miami up until that point, Andrew Van Ginkle. He is a difference maker. And something that the Vikings defense has is a guy who usually you see someone of my team hate on him. But Brian Flores is a really good coach. I don't think he's a good head coach with the whole situation with Tua and all that. But he's a good fundamental football coach. And um, – Minnesota's defense is nice, but 49ers offense, they didn't skip a beat without having McCaffrey. Jordan Mason came in and ran for like 150. Insane. I think they're going to keep it rolling. Crazy. They look good right now, and I think they're going to put up the same amount of points Chance has them having. I'm got them going 24-10 over Minnesota. After that, we have Elgin's team in action. Will they make it 2-0? Super Bowl 49 rematch, one of the best Super Bowls of all time. They play Seattle Seahawks in New England. Elgin, take it away. Listen, DK Metcalf, JSN, and Tyler Lockett, nothing on my secondary. Oh my you see, goodness. our defense forced two fumbles in the red zone. Does your team do that? No, it actually. No, yeah, one, one of us does. One of us does. We got the fumble. Wait, wait. Listen, our defense played immaculate against an offense that is supposedly one of the best in the league. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, the Patriots are going to win this game by I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they're going to, they're going to buy a uh, uh, ten points. I don't think Seattle's that great. I'll be honest with you. Geno Smith, one hit one hit wonder. I'm gonna say it right now. One hit wonder. He is, bull. He, he got paid this bunch of money. Now he's gonna now he's gonna turn into Daniel Jones and not play well. I'm <laughs> Honestly, telling you, the Patriots are gonna win this game. We're if we if we do what we did last game, the Patriots are gonna win this game, twenty to like. No, no, 21 to, like, 11 or something. I can't see your offense putting up 21 points. Excuse no me? That, you heard me. I just – I until Drake May gets in there, that's when you guys will start Roger hanging Stevens in the 20s. I think you guys have to hang with that defense in that run game, which is solid. I think you guys will jump out to an early lead. But something about Seattle this year, they have fight. They played a pretty mediocre game last week until they were able to turn it up. And I just really like the running situation over there. Kenneth Walker is a dog that does not get talked about the He's way he deserves. He's questionable. He's yeah. questionable. Well, I think that's the whole game right there. I really like uh, Seattle's running game. I I don't I agree with you on Gino. I don't think he's Daniel Jones level by any means. That's a whole new low. I like uh, Gino, but I don't think he's a playoff quarterback. He looked good against the Denver defense. He looked okay against the Denver defense. And uh, New England's a tough team for them. I think New England's going to pull off an upset here. Same amount of points last week. I got to go in 16-13 game-winning field goal for New England. So I actually have the same score, which is kind of crazy in my opinion. I, I find that insane. But I see, like, if the Patriots win this game realistically, we're going to have to start worrying about them. Eh. Be- no, no. Like, in reality, because we always have close – in division yeah, games. Yeah, that's true. New England had us a touchdown. If they win game. this game, you're telling me you're not going to be a little bit nervous that you might fall one against the Patriots? Maybe. Um, yeah. That's what that's I, I'm i kind of worried about. Elgin's this game. over here smiling he like is, a kid right he, now. He <laughs> could see it realistically happening. Because I think the Pats have a really good defense. Even losing who uh, Matthew Judon, I think they have a great defense. Yeah. I think it's going to be the same score. I, I see the Seahawks just pulling it out at the end. Even though Gino, I do think it's also kind of a bust. Like, he's just a mid-tier quarterback. He's there, but he isn't great. 
patches are back, baby. We're I think he's just oh he's gonna edge it out. Yeah, possibly. Winter Springs reference there. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> another game we have. This one might be the toilet bowl of the week. I'm not gonna lie. Giants at Commanders. Chances savior Daniel Jones. <laughs> Against Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels didn't look bad in his rookie debut. He didn't throw any touchdowns. Saved he ran for two. fantasy. You got him in fantasy? Saved me. Oh, there you go. So he's a solid performer, and uh, he's taking on the Giants' defense, which I know they got a pick last week, but they're playing Minnesota. Um, the Giants just are a complete mess right now. I think most people who watch football, it's between them and Carolina for the first overall pick. And, you know, they play each other in Germany. That's going to be a nationally televised <laughs> game. <laughs> This is revenge for World War II, Germany. You guys get the <laughs> worst of our teams. But Giants at Commanders, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Washington wins, and people are going to think Jane and Daniels is the savior because he need to throw two touchdowns and run for one as well. Uh, 28-6, Commanders. Same score from last week for the Giants. I'm g- honestly, who? Giants and Commanders are like, I don't know why. They always play really good against each other. Really weird. Yeah, close games both of them last year. They have close games both times. But the Giants looked horrendous last week. Awful. They looked bad. Daniel Jones looked like a kid with a football. So <laughs> I'm going to take the Commanders. I know the Commanders did get lost to the Bucks, but I believe the Bucks are slowly rising into that contender yeah. status because yeah. the Bucks played Baker Mayfield, the only quarterback with four touchdowns passing, yeah. so I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Commanders this week, and um, I think it's honestly I think this is the first time where the Commanders kind of like push away from that close game. I think this is gonna be I think this is gonna be more of a ten point thirteen point game. I, I think the Commanders are gonna win twenty seven to thirteen. I think that's my final score. You have the Giants scoring a touchdown. That's bold. That is pretty crazy in my opinion. Malik Neighbors gets the touchdown. Don't worry. Ooh, you know hey, I like that. He's a fantasy player, man. I could use it. Neighbors um, is nice. So I, <laughs> you know, you said the only quarterback to score four touchdowns, but then you fixed passion because you know Josh Allen two rush two pass. Total. You know four total. Yeah, total. he did. He did have total. But um, like I said, this game. I mean. It pretty much is kind of the toilet bowl. I think the Commanders, they're going to need at least another year before they're contenders. It's going to be fun to watch. The Giants, Daniel Jones, come on, man. I, I had faith in you, man. Like, what'd you do? <laughs> you made me look so bad. Um, so I think it's going to be like a 28-6 to six game. I think That's there's no chance that the Giants win. And if they do, let's go Daniel Jones. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you're high on Daniel Jones. I wonder if you're high on this guy. I know Elgin is. The Chargers at Panthers. Last week, okay, I almost, all right. Last week <laughs> was really bad for Carolina. It was one of the worst days in September in history for <laughs> Panthers fans. It was it was bad. Um, their social media admin made a post about a tragedy, and the Panthers fans just went in on them. They're so sick of what's going on down there. It's Gave up 47 points to Daniel, to Derek Carr. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is 2024. Big 2024. Derek Carr is putting up almost 50 points. The Panthers are bad, guys. This might be one of the worst teams I think we've seen in a long time. They're they're pushing that first eight games 2019 Dolphins Browns? status. Uh, the Browns had close games that year. No, no, no. The Panthers I'm are going on 16 Browns. Like. They, they, might, they might just go Owens. They have a chance against the Giants. Let's, That's let's the look only at that game, one. Yeah. That might be it. I feel so bad for Germany. Do not spend the money. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Germans, they got, they, want, they got one coming after that. Uh, Payback. They're taking on the Chargers. The Chargers did start a little slow last week. Um, Justin Herbert didn't look bad. Lad McConkey caught the only touchdown in that game. Um, and they looked good against the Raiders, but the Raiders are still very much figuring things out. And I think the Raiders lost that game to themselves. Uh, but it's the Carolina Panthers. This is an all-time low for NFL football. I got the Chargers coming in here. 31 to eh, 31-13. Honestly, I've been – I just – I don't – I want to – I'm so high. I was so high on Bryce Young in my draft, and he's not proved me right. And I'm – listen – I don't think the Panthers are going to win, but I do think they're going to put up a much better fight than they did last week. Here's to hoping. I'm I'm ho- I'm hoping they'll put up a better fight. Please let me look. Con- I did not take Bryce Young as my backup quarterback for not for no reason. Okay, do not judge me, everyone. All right. I wa- I watched Bryce. I I watched that Saints game. I did on red red zone, and I saw Derek Carr look like 
looked like he was in 2016 again. Yeah, Derek Carr looked like an MVP <laughs> candidate before it broke. Making yeah. all those Raiders fans upset. But uh, I'm, Yeah, the Raiders are just going through it right now. <laughs> I believe the Chargers are a very run-heavy team now. I don't know if you know, Gus Watt Edwards had his, probably his best game of his career last week. J.K. Dobbins. J- no, yeah, not, yeah, I think it was Gus, I believe. Gus no, the Dobbins bus. had a long touchdown run. Yeah, but I haven't Gus, seen J.K. Dobbins run like that since Ohio State. Yeah. Got bo- both, but they got the Ravens like injury prone backs, and you know, I don't know what's with the Ravens and running backs. They get injured and they play well when they're not injured. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna take the Chargers. I think it's gonna be very similar to that Raiders game. I don't think it's gonna be high scoring. I think I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take 22 to like 13. It's gonna be a very slow, tough, 22. slow game. That's, that's interesting. Scary. Well, that's a touchdown and yeah, a couple field goals. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel. I'm sorry, Panthers fans. I really like. I even believe. I still believe in Bryce Young. I just think your team is horrendous after that. Like, uh, to be honest with you, this is the worst team I've seen probably since I've been watching football. Yeah, this is which, really bad. Like, it's it just we've Johnny Manziel days type. Like, yeah, this we've is this seen is some really bad, bad teams in our years. And the Chargers, they're kind of surprising me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I seen that they lost Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, and they lost a couple of defensive pieces. Austin Eckler left. I was like, wow, how are they going to, like, rebuild from this? How are they going to perform after this? And then they did pretty well mm. for the week one. I mean, it's only week one. But I feel like they're going to win this. It's going to be like a 21-3 to three game. I don't, I, yeah. I don't see the Panthers scoring more than that. So next up is the team that just destroyed the Panthers, the New Orleans Saints, and they're heading into Dallas to take on a Cowboys team that won a game. A lot of people were picking against them in, which was interesting to me. The Cowboys and Saints. Now, this is a good one. But I really like Dallas right now. I liked how they looked last week. I think they played a team that was that underplayed. I think Cleveland's loss was a lot on them. But New Orleans is a good chance to prove like, hey, we could still we could still knock out good teams. I think uh, I'm really high on Dak Prescott. He performed well. I think him and CeeDee Lamb are gonna have a nice day. Zeke, um, <laughs> Zeke is still there. He <laughs> came back his <laughs> old self. But I don't. I think I could take the Cowboys, uh, edging out a close one. Give me 24 to 17, Dallas. All right, so I've that I, I don't know if you all know my the Saints were in my top five draft picks, and guess what? I believe they definitely overperformed than I thought they would. I'm gonna say this for the Saints though. I think week that week one win was the most overreact. I think that's my biggest overreaction of the week. They played the Panthers. Come on, guys. Still, they played the Panthers. Fifty points. Yeah. Fifty points. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take the Cowboys, but I don't think this is go- this is gonna be a this is gonna be like a ten point difference game. I think the Cowboys are the mm. regular and se- regular season. Goat team. I, I don't know why they perform so well in the regular season, and then what comes playoff time? Yikes! But I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Cowboys here in a. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Richie score 24 20, 17. So we once seen a team very close to us put up seventy points against the Denver Broncos, which we thought the Denver Broncos sucked, and then the next week they played, they got smacked. And so I think it's gonna be a repeat. The Cowboys are gonna win. It's going to be a 24 to 10 game. Why did I just catch a stray just now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Strays randomly now, guys. Up next, the Colts at Packers. Now, very unfortunate for Green Bay. Jordan Love is going to miss some time with a knee injury he sustained against the Eagles in week one. They're taking on the Colts, who, although they lost, Anthony Richardson made one of the best throws I've ever seen. I, that was amazing. I that think really we're good. all, as a football community, really high on the young quarterbacks in the AFC South with – uh both C.J. Stroud and Anthony Richardson. And the Colts looked good despite losing. Um, Alec Pierce is a really solid wide receiver. He's coming into his own. And I think they're going to knock off the Packers here. The Packers don't have it going on. The quarterback position, I don't think Malik Willis is good at all. Like, mm. I, nothing about his game is like, okay, they have a chance. Um, they might keep it close, but I honestly think this is a chance for Anthony Richardson to show off. Because Green, def- Green Bay's defense is solid, but... I just like what Indianapolis is going to be able to do. Give me the Colts 21 to 17. Honestly, I'm really high on Mr. Anthony Richardson. That guy just me too. He, he screams Cam Newton to me, but like a better Cam Newton. A Cam Newton in who, today's yeah, era of football. Yeah. He's definitely I compare him to Cam Newton. I definitely would. He's just the th- I just watched him and I'll be honest with you. That game was neck and neck between them and the Texans. Oh yeah. I think those two will meet again in 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 um January. They will meet again. So I believe that the Colts are going to win by a decent amount. The Packers, I'm so sorry. They, they they just lost love, and you know, now they have Malik Willis. I did see a report today that they did talk to Ryan Tannehill. 
Oh my that would dolf- be bad. My Dolphins and Titans fans know about that guy. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, Tannehill gets the bad rap. He he did he, good for a while. With I a mean, mediocre team yeah. around him in Miami, he was very much mediocre. One playoff appearance that he didn't even get to play in. But I don't know. Tannehill, I don't think he's going to take Green Bay to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I think the NFC is... This is not, they, have, they haven't even signed him yet, so... Yeah, if... Yeah, I'm saying if. a big if, rumor. Which I don't think is going to happen. Okay, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Colts here. I'm gonna take the Colts winning 31-17. All right. Um, I think I agree with you. I think Anthony Richardson is just outperformed. Like he he's 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 really good in my opinion. And I, I actually he reminds me a lot of Josh Allen because of his first year injury. You know he looked good, but injury happened. Same same sense. Um, I feel like the Colts are gonna win this just because the lovely guy Jordan Love is out, and so I'm gonna have like a. 17 to 10. All right. All right, so now we've reached the point of our show where we're going to have to kind of speed run through these last couple games, but let's get them going. Browns at Jags. Both teams looked pretty rough last week. Jacksonville started good, and I think they're going to take this one against Cleveland. I don't think Deshaun Watson is good anymore. Give me the Jags by three touchdowns. I'm going to – I'm going to – actually, no, no, no. I'm going to – I think this is the Browns' bounce back week. Um – why? Because I don't know if y'all noticed the offensive line looked awful with Deshaun Watson. I don't know why, but I'm going to take the Browns in a bounce back game because I think it's going to be really close. I'm giving the score 24-23. I think the Jags are going to win this. They looked good against the Dolphins. I mean, they even made the Dolphins had to run for their money and all that. Yep. So I think uh, it's going to be like a 27 to 21 or 27 to 20 type game. I feel like it's going to be a good game. All right, up next, Jets at Titans. Both the lull cows of the week last week. They looked rough. The Jets looked rough. I mean, hey, Aaron Rodgers didn't get hurt in the first drive, so Impressive. they're taking on Tennessee. I don't know what just happened. Uh, they're taking on Tennessee, and I think the Jets will get their bounce back. Their offense is going to look okay. Tennessee is not all that, so give me the Jets. Did you just say a urinating tree reference? I did, no. yeah. I, I, watches really I didn't know you knew that. Uh, Good stuff. Yeah. Um, honestly... These two teams, you know, I think this is going to be the uh, – honestly, even though I bash on the Jets, it's prob- they're probably going to win this game. But it's going to be a lot closer than a lot of people think. I'm still high on Will Levis. That those three first three quarters proved me right, and that fourth quarter just took me out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Jets here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 27 to 26 final score. Okay. Um, I actually have high faith in uh, Levis. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know why. It's just like. He gives me that sense that I feel like he's going to be good and it's going to take mm-hmm. him a little bit of time. I have the Titans actually upsend the Jets again. Mm-hmm. Okay. And mm-hmm. it's going to be 34 to 28. All right. Up next, rematch of last year's divisional round of the NFC Bucks at Lions. This is my upset of the week. I'm taking the Bucks. They looked really good. The Lions played another close game with the Rams. Those are they're always entertaining when those two teams play and they can run the ball well. But I really like what Tampa Bay's offense looks like right now. Give me the Bucks by a score. Honestly, I'm gonna go with you as well. The honestly, the Buccaneers just kind of blew me away last week. Mm-hmm. So and Maker Mayfield, Cleveland really gave up multiple first round picks for for. For Sean, Sean Watson. Watson, now paid Cle- him so much money. Yeah, now Cle- now Baker's has a resurgence. I'm going to take the Bucks. I'm going to take 24 to 21. Uh, you guys are forgetting that the li- how good the Lions played. The yeah. Lions they they barely good. used Amon Ra, and they just they they huh? They, they I have the Lions team. winning. I mean, realistically, you can't not vote the Lions right now. They look better. In they my look opinion. good, but I, I just like that. what Tampa Bay's got going on. I, right. I'm I think it's going to be like a 24 to. 17 game. Okay. Up next, Raiders at Ravens. Who's going to get the bounce back? Baltimore, they lost in the opener. The Raiders lost to the Chargers. The Ravens looked good, and they're going to look good this week. I got the Ravens by maybe 17 points. The Raiders are on an all-time low right now. This, this is going to be a close game as well, but it's gonna, not going to be as close as you. It's not going to be as cl- like a three-point game. It's going to be two touchdowns. It's going to be two. T- I'm going to say my final score is going to be 17 to 27. That is my final score. That will be for the Ravens. All right. So I think the Ravens are going to have to bounce back over the um, Raiders. I mean, the Raiders are pretty down down bad. Yeah. I think it's going to be like – I actually think it's going to be a blowout, like almost to the point where uh, Lamar is benched. Yeah. Like bring in another court. That's just the type of game I see. Obviously, they're not going to take him out. I think it's going to be like a 41 to – 21 type game. Somewhere I got around you. that range. All right. We're coming towards the end. Let's just winners for these next games. All right. Rams, cards, Rams. Uh, Rams, yeah. 
Rams. Bengals, Chiefs? Chiefs. Bengals? Chiefs. Steelers, Broncos? Steelers. 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 All right. Bears, Texans, Sunday night. Texans. This is going to be the uh, biggest win of the season. Texans. Texans. Falcons, Eagles. Eagles. Falcons. Eagles. Wow. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll be back next week. Love to have you guys. Go Thank Bills. you for joining us. Dolphins tonight. Zoom in. Zoom in. Amazon Prime. Legacy. Pages are back. What is his legacy? Legacy what game for Mac Jones. What is his legacy? Don't like fix? At least we're in 2008. We're not. We, we suck. We, we, we suck. We're getting We are trash. It's fraudulent. Fraudulent. Supposed to be Lamar last week. Last week. It could have been. So.